Good evening, everyone. Tonight we are going to review some long division, but we're really used to using four division, and then also we'll be reviewing a new concept that we've been learning in the classroom. So first off, I want to work on this problem uh, through long division. Uh, basically what this is saying is how many groups of 13 goes into 564, 564. So we're going to set it up just like we would set up every long division problem. 13 here and 564 goes here. So first off, we have to figure out, does 13 go into 5? No, it doesn't. It's too small. But 13 does go into 56, but how much? Well, I know that 13 times 5, let me erase that and rewrite it, goes in there 65 times. So that's too big. So let's try 13 times 4. I don't know it, though, so I'll have to work it, work it out. 4 times 13 is 12. Carry the 1. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5. That's closer. So 4 groups of 13 equals 52. Now, we have to remember to subtract. 6 minus 2 is 4. 5 minus 5 is 0. We'll carry down the 4. Now, how many times does 13 go into 44? Well, I know it's not 5, and I know it's not 4, because those are both too high. Let's do 13 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 1 is 3. 39. That's close. That's as close as we're going to get. So 39. We're going to minus. 4 minus 9. Can't do it. We'll borrow. 14 minus 9 is 5. 3 minus 3 is 0. And I forgot to add the 3 up here. 3 groups of 13 equals 39. Now, can 13 go into 5? It can't. So this is going to be our remainder. So our answer is 43 remainder 5. Big 7 is a little similar in the way we set it up. The only big difference is, I'll do it in red. So this is the way we usually set it up. I'm just going to add a line. We call it Big 7 because it looks like a 7. So we're going to set up the same way. 13 groups goes into 564 how many times? Instead of trying to figure out how many times 13 goes into 56, we're just going to focus on what we do know. So I know that 10 groups of 13 equals 130. We're going to subtract just like we did. 4 minus 0 is 4. 6 minus 3 is 3. And 5 minus 1 is 4. Again, I'm going to focus on what I know. 10 groups of 13 is 130. I'm going to subtract again. 4 minus 0 is 4. 3 minus 3 is 0. 4 minus 1 is 3. Once again, I'm going to focus on what I know. 10 groups of 13 equals 130. We're going to subtract again. 4 minus 0 is 4. 0 minus 3. Can't do it. Let's borrow. 2. Carry the 10s. 10 minus 3 is 7. 2 minus 1 is 1, another group of 10, 130, 4 minus 0 is 4, 7 minus 3 is 4, 1 minus 1, 0. Now, how many times can 13 go into 44? Well, I know that 3 groups of 13 equals 39. 4 minus 9, we can't do that, so we have to borrow. 14 minus 9 is 5. 3 minus 3 is 0. Now, can we put any groups of 13 into 5? We can't. It's too small. So we're going to save that as our remainder. Now, these over here are our groups. So we're going to take these groups and add them together. 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, 
plus 3. Let's add them together. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 3 equals 3. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 4. So our answer is 43 with our remainder of 5. The reason I want you guys to know how to do the big 7 way of long division is because it focuses on more on what you know. You knew that there are 10 groups, 10 groups of 13 equals 130. But before, we had to take some time and figure out, well, how many times does 13 go into 56? How many times does 13 go into 44? And we had to use the multiplication we didn't know. So this can be a little bit easier on your noggins. However, it can sometimes take a little bit longer. So we're going to do one more problem so you can really focus on how to do it at home. Let's see, let's do fourteen groups goes into three hundred and sixty four. How many times? Uh, I know that 10 groups of 14 is 140. We're going to subtract. 4 minus 0 is 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. Again, I'm going to focus on my 10 groups. 140. 4 minus 0 is 4. 2 minus 4. 2 minus 4. We can't do that. We'll have to borrow. 12 minus 4, we can do that, that's 8. 1 minus 1 would be 0. Okay, now let's do, how many groups should we do? We should probably focus on, let's do 5. Because I know 5 groups of 14 is half of 5 groups of, or is half of 10 groups of 14. So it's going to be 70. 4 minus 0 is 4, 8 minus 7 is 1. How many groups of 14 goes into 14? One group. 14 minus 14 is 0. We don't have a remainder. Let's add our groups. 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1. 0 plus 0 plus 5 plus 1 is 6. 1 plus 1 is 2. 26. So our answer would be 26. 26 groups of 14 equals 364. Now this is just review. I hope that this helps on your homework. And of course, if you guys have any questions, you can contact me or you can ask me tomorrow in class.